You can't find a 24-7's hosting service for your bot? Well, fear no more, because today I will teach you exactly how to do that. If you're watching this video somewhere in the future, in case something changes, please see the pinned comment below. Anyway, let's get started without wasting any more time. This is the bot we'll be hosting today, and you can see that it's offline. But don't worry, it will turn online when we host it. It feels like a very dumb advice, but please make sure you have your files of the bot. We obviously need them. All right, let's cut to the hosting part. Open up your web browser and go to this website. The link will be in the description. And once you've opened the site, click on the button at top right corner that says free hosting. It will take you to a page that needs the authorization of your Discord account. It is much needed for the setup of hosting. So click on continue via Discord button shown in the screen. It will redirect to Discord authorization and you just have to click on the authorize button. Once you've done that, it will take you to their dashboard. Please go to the create tab at the top to continue. In the create page, you have to provide information about what you're going to host. It's pretty easy. Just give it a name and a description. It doesn't have to match your bot name and description. Anything custom will be fine. After you fill the basic details like name and description, make sure you pick Pilex Free Plan. Scroll down and pick the bot hosting option, and then click on Discord.js if your bot is on Discord.js. However, you can also pick Python option if you are developing your bot in Python, but in my case, my bot is on JavaScript, so I'll pick the JS option. The Python process should be the same as the JavaScript process, but if you run into any problems, you can join Pilex's Discord server for help. So once you picked all the options, click on Create Server. It will take you to the dashboard again. Scroll down and click Manage Server on the server you just created. It will take you to the server dashboard. This part is important. You can change the server name and description here and apply the changes. You can also delete the server if you wish. But you have to click on the Renew button once in every five days. Because if you don't, then Pilex would assume you're inactive and delete the server. I hope you understood that. And now let's head into the Account tab to continue building the hosting server. When you're in the Account tab, it will show you your email address and password. I'll have to hide it for reasons. And make sure you keep them safe too. In fact, please memorize them or note them somewhere right away because we'll have to use them in the next step. Once you've noted them, click on Go to Panel button. Here's the frustrating part. This page loads very slowly. As you can see, my screen is still white. You can try refreshing or type in slash auth slash login with the page link in your browser. But it will load eventually, so have patience. Once it's loaded in, it will ask you to log in. Make sure you use the email and password that was given to you in last step. Once you log in, your server will be listed there in the page. Click on it to continue setup. You will have your option to start the server, but before that, go to the Files tab so you can upload your bot files for hosting. You have to drag and drop your files, so create a new zip file somewhere in your computer. It doesn't matter what you name it. After you've created the folder, go to your bot folder which has all the bot files and remember to copy everything except the modules and .gitignore if you have those files. They are not needed. Once you've copied them, go back to your zip folder you created and paste them there. When you're done, drag and drop the zip files in your browser that is opened. When the zip file has been imported, click on the three dots icon beside the zip file and unarchive it. Once you've unarchived, you can delete the zip file from there. There's one last step before starting the server. Go to the startup tab at the top and pick the correct node version you're using. If you don't know what version you are using, open up terminal and type in node hyphen V. It will provide you with the node version. In my case, it's 20. So I'm gonna select the node version 20 in the website. After you've done that, scroll down until you see this field called JS file. Input the correct JS file name and path. If it's main.js for you, then type in main.js. In my case, it is index.js, so I'm gonna leave it as is. But it's inside the SRC folder inside my bot folder, so I have to type in src slash index.js for that. Beside that, you can see an option called additional node packages you must type in the node packages you use in here separated by a space. In my case, I'm just using the discord.js package, so I'm going to leave it blank because you don't have to specify it in there. But if you do get an error when starting the server, you should try specifying it there and then try starting the server again. 
Now that that's out of the way, let's start our server now. And it should be ready in a few minutes. For me, it was just a few seconds. As you can see, it has started without any errors. If you get any error like discord.js module not found, then go back to the additional node package field and type in discord.js. If you don't get an error, then go back to Discord to check if your bot is online. And if you've done all the step correctly, your bot will be online and will be responding correctly. My bot is responding correctly, but if you still have any issues, you can go to their Discord server for help. Link will be down in the description. Anyway, I spend a lot of time on making these videos, and I don't have any way of income currently. It will be a big, big help if you could join my Patreon. I will upload source codes, uncut content, and exclusive contents and packages of all my videos here. You can also join my Discord server to chat with the community, or for related help, link is down in the description. Thanks for watching.